Guys, this is my banana hobby system 182, 1400 millimeter. It's got 55 inch wings, uh, wing span. Um, I have to give credits to uh, Tennessee RC Pilot for making me a 3D uh, battery tray that I added into the plane. I'm flying a AR620 receiver in this plane. Um, I'm also going to add um, the V2 front landing gear as soon as it gets here. I ordered it. There's a picture of the 3D printing uh, battery tray. It's got a Velcro strap in it and it's a uh, foam tacked in. Um, my V2 I ordered from FMS landing gear. It made the uh, there's my LEDs I ordered extra so I could get the red LED out of it. But um, it's somewhere in Limbo in Memphis, Tennessee. They've got to transfer it to the post office to get it to me. I uh, mounted this red LED right behind the servo door, just a tad over an inch, maybe an inch and maybe 200 thousandths past it. It's a bulkhead right there. In, uh, between the the door servo door and that and you just need to punch in right in behind that bulkhead to add this red LED. I'm using a the Air's Bigfoot uh, blinking module. And it's got two outputs on it, so I decided to add me a light to the bottom of the plane on a strobe. So, so I'll have that one blinking in the bottom of the plane as well as one on the rudder. And uh, it's a pretty nice plane for, you know, a little over a hundred bucks. And it looks very, very scale. Um, this is a knockoff of a FMS Sky Trainer 182. Um, you will have to do a little modeling on this plane, not a whole lot. Um, there's parts replacements that you know you could upgrade, but all the servos are working fine on, on mine. Um, the flaps. I, I really set mine by an OG timber um, flap settings, and I've got a down mix on it. Um, if you go to OG timber, I've got three-way switch on the flaps, and I've got a down elevator mix, but if you go by the book on the OG Timber, that's how I've got it set up. But it could change depending on how it flies, and how much it increases, flies upward. After I maiden it and see how the flaps, see if the plane rises or not, I'll just have to deal with that. Either add more down mix to it after flying it, see how it flies, but um, I'm waiting on my V2 landing gear with a shock absorber. This is a one in the video here. That's the one that comes with the plane. I'll be upgrading it to the shock front wheel, but kind of give you an idea. It's a real pretty plane. It's well worth the investment if you don't have a a Cessna 182. I would recommend looking at this. This is a 
bits work, banana hobby, beat your five inch wing, 1400 millimeter, Cessna 182 plug and play. Um, I've got the strobes blinking there in the bottom and on the vertical there and all the landing lights and the green and red they're, they're on solid but pretty good plane guys if you hadn't subbed and subscribed to the channel hit me up hit the like button hit the bell notification and we'll see you in the next video Maybe it'll warm up pretty quick so we can get out and do some flying. Thanks, guys.